The goal of this video lecture is to review the characteristics of obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are recurrent and persistent thoughts, urges, or images. So these are cognitions, and these cognitions can be verbal. So they could be thoughts such as a worry that you've been contaminated with some kind of pathogen. They might be urges, so something like a desire or an urge to stab someone or to throw your phone off of a bridge. Or they might be images, so it might be a visual image of something bad happening to your pet. So these cognitions can be verbal, they can be desires, or they can be visual, but all of these thoughts share some important components. So first, these thoughts are experienced as intrusive and unwanted. So obsessions are ego dystonic. They're often perceived as coming from outside the self. Furthermore, these obsessive thoughts typically cause anxiety or distress. So the person is very bothered by these intrusive, unwanted thoughts. And typically, the person attempts to either ignore the obsessive thoughts, so they try to get them to go away, or they attempt to neutralize the thoughts, typically by some kind of compulsive behavior. So these are persistent thoughts. These thoughts might be verbal, they might be images, or they might be urges. They're intrusive, they're seen as coming from outside the self. Um, they cause anxiety or distress, and the person tries to do something to get the obsessions to go away. Some common examples of obsessions include obsessions about contamination. For example, fears that you have contracted a serious disease or fears that something has been contaminated. So maybe that it's been contaminated by dirt or that you've been exposed to feces or urine or concern that you've been exposed to some kind of germ or specific virus. Another set of common obsessions have to do with harm. So these might be obsessive thoughts worry about being harmed, so being worried that you will be hurt, that you will become ill, that something bad will happen to you. It might also be worries about causing harm to other people. For example, you might have obsessive thoughts that you could hit someone with your car while you are driving, or intrusive urges to punch someone or to hurt someone. Symmetry and perfectionism are another common set of obsessions. So people may have intrusive thoughts or urges to make things line up and be symmetrical, to be arranged in size order. Sometimes people report a feeling that they need things to feel just right, um, and there may not be any kind of particular order or symmetry to them, but that things need to be arranged in a certain way. It's also common to have obsessive thoughts related to cultural taboos. So some pretty common ones include obsessive, obsessive thoughts related to aggression. So having intrusive thoughts of wanting to hurt people or engage in inappropriate aggressive behavior. And also sexual obsessions, particularly um, violations of cultural sexual norms. So for example, people might have obsessive thoughts and worry that they are going to molest a child, even though they are not actually attracted to children. They might have intrusive thoughts about being a pedophile or about um, sexually assaulting someone. They might have intrusive thoughts that they are going to act inappropriately in a sexual manner, even though they don't want to. So violating cultural taboos or violating your personal norms for behavior are common obsessions. Um, and another common set of obsessions have to do with religious beliefs, and we call these scrupulosity. So these might be obsessions related to religious practice, and these can vary depending on a person's cultural background and their religion. So for example, someone who is Catholic might have obsessive thoughts related to did they accurately report all of their sins when they went to confession. Um, someone from an Orthodox Jewish background might have obsessive thoughts about whether they appropriately said the prayers at an appropriate time or whether they violated a commandment. Um, so the religious beliefs can vary across cultures, but the common thread is that people are having obsessive thoughts related to religious practice, or these might also be related to moral beliefs or beliefs about right and wrong. So the important characteristic that defines these obsessions are that these are intrusive thoughts, they're unwanted thoughts, and they typically cause anxiety and distress, and the person wants them to go away. We also have compulsions. And compulsions are behaviors. So these are repetitive behaviors. So they might be overt behaviors that you can observe, things like washing your hands repeatedly, 
or they might also be mental behaviors, things like going over something in your mind and rehearsing it, checking things repeatedly in your mind, counting in your mind, any mental rituals. So just because they're behaviors doesn't necessarily mean they're observable. So these behaviors are things that an individual feels driven to perform either in response to an obsession or according to a set of rigid rules. So some compulsions are specifically related to obsessive thoughts, but sometimes there isn't a specific obsession that's related to a compulsive behavior, but the person just feels that this is a behavior that must be followed. So for example, an individual needs to do things in sets of four or needs to follow a certain order when they engage in things. So all of those would be examples of compulsive behaviors. Another element is that these compulsions are aimed at preventing or reducing anxiety or preventing some kind of feared outcome. So either the person is engaging in the compulsion because if they don't engage in the compulsion, they'll feel a high level of anxiety or because they believe or feel that if they don't engage in their compulsive behavior, that something bad will happen. So for example, that they need to check the stove because if they don't, the house will burn down or they need to put the things on the table in size order because if they don't, they will feel very anxious. And importantly, these compulsions are either not connected in a realistic way to the outcome that they are designed to prevent or they are excessive. So sometimes compulsive behaviors are realistically related to the feared outcome. So for example, somebody with an obsession related to contamination may have compulsive behaviors related to hand washing but the number of times that they wash their hands, the frequency with which they wash their hands, the situations in which they wash their hands are excessive compared to the actual risk of being contaminated. Or sometimes the compulsive behaviors might not be related at all to the feared outcome. So for example, someone with obsessive thoughts who is worried that they might have hit somebody while driving and killed them might have compulsive behaviors of hand washing. And hand washing is not connected in any logical way to preventing yourself from hitting someone while you're driving. So sometimes there's no logical connection between an obsessive thought and the compulsive behavior. So sometimes obsessions and compulsions seem to fit together, but sometimes the compulsions are not related in any logical kind of way to an individual's obsessive thoughts. And even if the compulsive behaviors are related logically to the obsessive thoughts, the degree to which the person is engaging in the behavior is excessive and unrealistic. So some common compulsions include behaviors like excessive washing or cleaning. And again, sometimes these are related to obsessions such as contamination, but sometimes they're not. So this might be an individual washing themselves, so it might be repeated hand washing, it might be excessive showering, it might be cleaning other things. So for example, uh, needing to wash clothing after wearing it for only a short time, um, using a lot of bleach or harsh chemicals in the home and cleaning very frequently. Another common set of compulsive behaviors has to do with checking. So repeatedly going back to things and making sure that the door is locked or the stove is off or that your keys are in your purse. All of those are examples of checking behaviors. You can also have common compulsions such as putting things in order or doing things uh, in multiples. So repeating behaviors a certain number of times. Um, counting is a common mental compulsion. So counting or having things in sets of a certain number. Sometimes these are related to those obsessive thoughts related to symmetry or perfectionism or that kind of just right feeling. And remember that not all compulsions need to be observable behaviors. So you can also have mental compulsions such as reviewing things in your mind um, or sometimes what are called undoing behaviors. So if a person is worried that they have engaged in some kind of inappropriate behavior, they might undo it in their head or think about it in a certain way to reduce their anxiety about this problematic behavior that they're concerned that they have engaged in. So the most important distinction between obsessions and compulsions is that obsessions are thoughts and compulsions are behaviors.